Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. A cargo delivery scheduled to arrive at the station this week has been canceled. The Russian Progress 59 cargo craft lifted off successfully from Kazakhstan on Tuesday, but the unmanned vehicle experienced control issues shortly after separation from the rocket. Russian flight controllers attempted to troubleshoot over the next day, but ultimately informed the crew on Wednesday that it would not be making it to the station. The important thing is hardware can be replaced, and uh, we'll replace all that hardware, and uh, we'll continue to, to operate the space station. Phase two of an exciting technology demonstration is about to begin on board. The next round of the robotic refueling mission is gearing up to demonstrate techniques that could prolong the life of satellites in Earth orbit. Using the capabilities of the Dexter robot attached to Canadarm2, robotics controllers will use new tools and techniques that could eventually give satellite owners novel ways to diagnose problems on orbit and fix issues to keep spacecraft functioning longer in space. This week, Daniela asked, if I'm a scientist, can I go to the space station? Well, a lot of astronauts have a science background, so being a scientist is a great way to join them. Just in case that doesn't work out, though, getting your research to the station is the next best thing. There are a number of ways to get experiments flown in space, whether it's through NASA, the National Lab managed by our friends at CASIS, or one of our international partners. It's never been easier to get your research on board station. Head over to nasa.gov slash ISS science to learn more. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.